Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gun. In our today's video, we will talk about solving linear inequality in one variable. Last time, we have uploaded a video on how to solve linear inequality in one variable using properties of equality. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. We have here an example. 2x plus 6 is less than or equal to 4. This one is definitely an example of linear inequality in one variable because we have one variable. At the same time, we are using an inequality symbol which is less than or equal. The question here, how are we going to solve this kind of inequality? So basically guys, we will be using... Uh, different properties of inequality para masolve natin yung equation, yung ating inequality. So, all you need to do is to eliminate 6. And then right after eliminating 6, we need to eliminate 2. So, first thing, let's eliminate 6 by subtracting both sides of the inequality by 6. So, all you need to do is to subtract 6. We have 2x plus 6 minus 6 again minus 6 is less than or equal to 4 minus 6 okay again 4 minus 6 and then as you can see when you simplify 6 minus 6 it will give you 0 the remaining term on the left side of our inequality is simply 2x is less than or equal when you simplify 4 minus 6, it will give you negative 2. So we are done eliminating 6. And then right after that, we need to eliminate 2 by dividing both sides of the inequality by 2. So you have to multiply, divide it by 2. So you can eliminate this one. And then there you have it. You have the variable x. And then your inequality, you have less than or equal so this is negative 1 because negative 2 divided by 2 is simply negative 1. This is your answer in inequality. There are different ways on how to represent your solution for linear inequality in one variable. The first type is your adding set notation followed by interval notation at your adding graphical method using number line. So how to show this one into set notation. Set in kanyang form, you have this. We're in, babasahin natin to, or you can read this one as x such that x is less than or equal to negative y. Now for the interval notation, you need to look at your inequality. x is less than or equal to negative 1. That will be equivalent to bracket. Ah, sorry. It will be open parenthesis negative infinity comma negative one bracket. So what is the reason bakit ganti yung ating symbolism? Since yung ating arrowhead it points to the left side of the of the inequality we will be using negative infinity and laging kasama ng negative infinity or yung infinity is yung parenthesis. And for negative 1, since the right side of the inequality is negative 1, we will be using bracket because we have here a bar sign. Or in other words, negative 1 is included with, within our solution. So if, we're gonna in, if we will inter interpret this kind of answer, the possible answers or the possible numbers that can satisfy this inequality are those numbers starting from negative 1 and below. So let's have the graphical method of this one. You have x is less than or equal to negative 1. How to graph that? All you need to do is to um, search for negative 1. This is your negative 1. And there are two questions. Is it a solid circle or an open circle? As you can see, we're using here less than or equal. Since we have a bar sign, this one is 
a solid circle or shaded circle. Now, for the direction of the line of the graph, we will be having this line going to the left. Okay? Yan yung graphical method natin. Now, for the second example, in solving linear inequality in two variables, we have here example number 2, x over 2 plus 3 is greater than 5. So, to solve this problem, we need to eliminate the fractional term or simply eliminate your 2. So, how do we do that? Simply multiply the whole inequality by 2. At in process natin, x over 2 plus 3 is greater than 5. You will multiply the whole inequality by 2. So, multiplying this to this one, it will give you x. And 2 times 3, it will give you plus 6 that is greater than 2 times 5 that will give you 10 and next step is to eliminate this part or this plus 6 simply by using addition property of inequality, inequality by subtracting both sides by 6 this will become x plus 6 minus 6 is greater than 10 minus 6 and simplifying this inequality it will give you 6 minus 6 0 this is x is greater than 4. This is our answer in this kind of problem. And again, that is x greater than 4. Now, for the set notation, interval notation, and graphical method, we will convert this into set notation that is equivalent to this one. So, if we're going to interpret this kind of answer, the possible answer or the possible values of x that will satisfy this inequality are those numbers that is greater than 4 because that is x is greater than 4. For set notation, that is equivalent to x such that x is greater than 4. Now, for the interval notation, since this is our answer, this one is equivalent to open parenthesis 4 comma positive infinity or infinity parenthesis why parenthesis because 4 is not included kasi wala naman tayo itong bar sign again 4 is not included therefore that is parenthesis and the negative a positive infinity because our solution are those numbers greater than 4 and for the graphical method search for number 4 this is your 4 and then, here's the question. Is it an open circle or a shaded circle? Since wala tayong bar sign dito, we will be using an open circle. And then the line goes here, to the left side of the number line. This is our graphical method, interval notation, and set notation. Now, if you're new to my channel, you can comment down below if you want to request some topic that you want me to cover in this channel. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!